ready for comedy. Tom Davis here. The Fire Family. Tom Davis here. Gather round the TV. It's time to watch some scamping. Everybody say Tom Davis. You are one of all. Made in America. Everybody say Tom Put your hands together for Tom May. We're trying to have another kid. We're not happy at the first one. <laughs> nah, I love my kids. Kids are expensive though, man. I pay 200 bucks a week for daycare in Kentucky. 200 bucks a week. Look, you can't trust a daycare. It's a true story. One time I went to pick my kid up from daycare, they gave me the wrong key. I got home, my wife was mad. <laughs> I love my minivan. 183,000 miles on it. I was going to trade it in and get a newer one with a DVD player in it. So the guy was like, Tom, we'll give you 500 bucks on your trade. I'm like, heck with that, it's a minivan. That's worth more than 500 bucks. So I take the wheels off of it. And I put it in a trailer park. And I built a deck around it. <laughs> It's worth 1100 now. <laughs> hey, just for kicks, tomorrow morning, go to the drive-thru at McDonald's. Go. Yeah, I was here last night, and I think I left my kids in the playland. <laughs> y'all see a couple kids running around this morning, y'all come in. Why they look like, sir? Like your mama. <laughs> First off, show of hands, how many illegal aliens do we have out here? Good, because here's what I think about the illegal aliens. If they want to take American jobs, they should move to India. <laughs> Louisville comedian Tom Maybe went to D.C. to the telemarketers convention, and he went undercover. He telephoned the telemarketers. He telephoned them in their hotel rooms, starting at 3 o'clock in the morning. I called this one telemarketer. I'm like, uh, yeah, this is Tom down the front desk. I started to bother you so late. Our computer crashed. Was your wake-up call for 8 or 8.30? <laughs> That's correct, sir. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Calm. Look, let me talk to the manager. He's right here. Hold on one second. Man, he's really upset. He says he can't get back to sleep, and he thinks we should make it right for him. I can do that. Sir, you there? Look, I talked to the manager. I told him my concerns about getting back to sleep, and well, we usually don't do this, but here you go. <clears throat> rock a bye, baby. <laughs> I'm laying back on my pillow. It's like 7 a.m., but I'm, I'm awake by all these alarms going off. Woo, woo, woo. And no lie, I get up and I look outside my hotel window. There's a video store across the street getting robbed. And I'm watching all this unfold. There's law enforcement inside the store, and they're walking up and down the aisles trying to find a burglar. So I get the yellow pages out, and I find the number for the video store, and I call it up, and I see this police officer pick up the phone. I'm like, dude, get out of there. Cops are everywhere. <laughs> Hello? This is Tom. Who's this? Whose husband? Dude, look, she didn't say anything about a husband. Don't be mad at me, be mad at her. You want some of this? Well, meet me. I'm at the coffee shop. Got a shaved head. I had no idea she was married. I do not like your tone at all. I do not like your tone at all. You, you, you want some of this? Well, meet me somewhere. I'm at the coffee shop. Come on in. I'm not afraid of you. I got a black shirt on. I'm with my wife. Come on in. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting here at the table. No, you, you know who I am. You can't miss me. I'm the only guy here wearing like a brown shirt, and I'm with the girl. I got a white shirt on with the collar up. Come on, I'll take it. You can't miss me. I'm, I'm in a striped shirt. I'm right here by the fountain. Yeah, I'm here with my buddies. Yeah, bring some friends too, big guy. 
I got sunglasses on. I'll see you in a second, dude.